Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is Mike, Falco's Flips. Today we're going to go and hit some charity shops. It's me and my partner Claire. We're going to um, some of the same ones I usually go to like every weekend, but we're going to try and hit a few that we don't get to that often. Uh, we've only got a couple of hours, so we're going to get to as many as we can. And unfortunately, around these parts, nowhere actually opens till like half nine, ten, mostly ten. It's nine o'clock now, and there's like not really many places to go. Got the GoPro, chest mount. Let's go see what we can find. Good Claire. Let's go. Right, just about to set off. The weather today is really nice. It's like it's I think it's probably about eighteen or nineteen now, but it's supposed to be twenty-one degrees today. Really hot, like no wind, and you know it's only nine o'clock now, and I feel like really hot already. So we're just buying some kind of like stuff for the teachers, our kids school, just to say thank you. We've, well, we've already got the gifts. We're just buying some gift bags. We've already got cards as well, but they've got loads of stuff in here. When did this become a thing? I don't know. It definitely wasn't a thing when I was at school. We're just buying, buying our time before the charity shop's open. It's like nothing's open yet. So this is the first one of the day. First one that was open. Sometimes the prices here are a little bit on the high side. But I found good stuff here. Sometimes they have some good stuff out here. It's only 50p per item. I've bought a few things from this table before. Some of these beanies here, we actually already have for sale. That blue one there, already got that. Uh, that zippy was okay, but looking into it, they only go for about seven pounds. So not worth it. And that cookie jar has been in there for weeks, maybe even months now. It's nice, but it was eight pounds, so a little bit too much. Same with these... Video games, they've been in here for ages. Nobody's buying them. They're too expensive. But none of them are any good anyway, apart from maybe that Guitar Hero. So just checking the board games outside this one because I found a couple of board games here outside recently. And here's another one. This one is okay. It's If you ever find it new... It's worth good money, but pre-owned prices were all over the place. There were quite a few for sale, but there were quite a few sold as well, as you'll see. I love an unusual board game, so definitely willing to give this a go for only £3. Now this one sometimes has some decent items here in this corner. All the ceramics. Nothing too much recently that I can think of, but there have been some decent bits here before. And then right here, we have a brown kind of serving tray. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Yeah, these wooden trays are interesting. They're kind of in like a kind of teak finish. I've had this same tray on a number of occasions from this same shop. I've never seen them anywhere before. But for some reason, this same shop keeps getting them, and I keep buying them. I think there's some kind of, like, Colombian serving tray. I'm not entirely sure. So, on to the next shop. And there was something in the window then that caught my eye. Yeah, I really like this, but for £30, that is a lot. I didn't even bother looking it up, because £30 of this is almost certainly way too much. It looks in decent condition inside, but you know the quality was all right, but nothing too special. I safely put it back. Here we have a Sylvanian family house. No figures, unfortunately, but a few items of furniture. And it was only three pounds fifty. So just about, just about worth picking up for that price. 
Check out this bobblehead. Definitely would have had that. Well, at the right price, obviously. If he still had his bat, but unfortunately his bat had broken off. Now this game, I don't know. I thought, as soon as I saw it, I thought that there was money in it. Then I had a quick look into it. It seemed like there was. And then a bit of a closer look into it. And people are only selling them new for like maybe £14. The pre-owned ones were sometimes selling for more than the new ones. Prices really all over the place. They wanted £4 for this. And I decided to leave it in the end. There probably was a little profit to make, but I decided to leave it. Yeah, check these out. I really like these ice hockey figures. And then up at the top, you probably can't see, but there were some American football figures as well. But they were just too too highly priced. I'm hoping that they come down in price. They've been in here for weeks. Hopefully, you know, they come down in price a little bit. Maybe next time I'm there, I might offer them something for the lot and, you know, see if maybe they'll come down a little bit. Then this shop had loads and loads of Hot Wheels. I couldn't see anything particularly special from the outside. I thought when I thought once I was in I'd take a quick look scan a few in but none of them were coming up with anything decent they were all three or four pound cars and I think they were after 150 250 for them something like that and here they had a load of bottles of random stuff from toiletries to like I think that was contact lens cleaner solution or something like that and thought I'd scan them in. They were all brand new, but nope, nothing. Always scan in things like this because you just never know. Sometimes there is hidden money there. The amount of things that I've scanned in where I thought before I scanned it, no way. And then it comes up and it ends up being like worth loads of money. It happens all the time. There, was a, there were a load of flight simulator expansions here sometimes they can be worth money but not these particular ones my kids used to be massive fans of thomas trains so i have a little bit of an idea of the kind of ones that that can do well the wooden ones generally speaking like the wooden vintage brio thomas brand kind of tie-in they tend to be the best ones from what i've seen hey it's the cactus guy again i actually sold the one i got from the jumble sale trail just recently about seven quid i think i got for it not a lot only paid 50p they wanted one pound 50 for this one not worth it right so we've just hit a few charity shops here and found a few bits nothing kind of groundbreaking nothing amazing but a few bits still lots of time to go it's now 10 o'clock so Got about an hour and a half before we got to get home. So let's go, let's go hit the next few. So on to the next one. Outside here we have this plane. I think this is one of the, is it Lanard brand ones? Not entirely sure, but they're after 15 quid for it. Too much. We've got some golf clubs here. Definitely been looking out for golf clubs recently. I don't know what I'm doing though, to be honest. But I do end up buying these. Straight away. Check that out. Yeah. I was just like, there was no price on this either. I was just like, whatever. Whatever price this is, I'm buying it. There's not a huge amount of money in this game. But just look at it. How could I possibly not buy it? And Claire found a Laura Ashley jar, £2.50, good find. Just checking out the little toy basket. That guy is from How to Train Your Dragon, but it was a McDonald's toy. We were just checking these out. There was a whiskey, a rum and a gin there was one shaped as like a book one shaped as a barrel and a, like one of the kind of bell ones that you see everywhere 
thought I would have a look into these, thought there might be a bit of money, but no, there wasn't. I found one back when I first started reselling it. It was in the shape of like a castle. And that was worth great money, great money. Uh, I think I paid like two pounds for it on Facebook Marketplace and sold it for about 50. Right, so I just got some golf clubs. Now this is the first lot of golf clubs I have ever purchased. I keep seeing people picking them up. I am well aware that these look a little bit rough around the edges, but for 15 quid, I figured the bag is probably worth that by itself. It's in really good condition, unlike the clubs inside. So I thought I would give it a go and see what we can do with them, just to kind of increase my knowledge because I don't, really don't know much about golf at all. Unless I pick some up, I'm never going to really learn about it. So I'm forcing myself to do so by buying these. We also got a few other bits. This house, we picked one of these up last year, which was a better set because it had all the figures and stuff, whereas this one doesn't. But it does have a couple of bits that uh, that last set didn't. We got a Goosebumps game. That's the prices on them are all over the place. That's a Laura Ashley jar. This is some like just like random old kind of boxing gloves. Good kind of display for somebody who's into boxing. They're only two quid. Uh, game is two quid. Two fifty on that. So what have we spent there? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifty, twenty-six, fifty. I think. So yeah, not too bad. I think we'll make some decent money on this. So here's one that I don't go to very often. It's a little bit far out the way. I have seen some golf clubs there. I check a couple of them out. They go for okay money, but nothing special really. And I think they were women's, a women's set. Um, I didn't even know that that was a thing, to be honest. I thought they were all the same, but uh, as I say, I know nothing about golf. Are the women's clubs more expensive? Also, I believe there are left-handed clubs. Do they have more money to them? Let me know down in the comments. And Claire's just found a cupcake cookie jar. And don't forget about Ubercorn there from Go Jesses. She's found that as well. This was good from Debenhams originally. There was a price tag there, £17. Uh, the books in here, hardbacks were a pound and paperbacks were 50p. That's about the maximum I would pay for Harry Potter books. These were in particularly good condition, so I thought I'd pick them up. And then I wish this was a full set of these because I've picked these up before. Lemony Schnicket. But it wasn't a full set. Not even close, really. There were quite a few missing, so didn't bother. That would have been all right, but no disc. So I'm just heading into the tip. Tip shop. The tip shop here is pretty good. Let's go and have a look. So I sometimes find some decent items in here. More often than not, ceramics. This is where I missed the first Question of Sport board game. If you didn't know, when the shops reopened after the last lockdown, I missed the, the Question of Sport board game. It was here on a shelf and I just completely missed it. You guys let me know, I went back and it wasn't there it was a good few weeks after i'd actually put the video out but i went back anyway but no nope. but then i did find one a few weeks later and then another one a few weeks after that 
If you go check out my recent videos, there's a video about it. Got an old like fire hose there. Sometimes there's some decent books here. Harry Potter there that I missed. And a load of video games. But I didn't find any. A lot of these I've seen before from the last time I was here. There's a few new ones, so I'm just checking them. That's Halo 1 in a Halo 2 box. And then that one I thought might have been worth a bit of money. And maybe it would have been, but it was badly scratched. So I didn't even look it up. Left for Dead, that used to be worth money, but not so much anymore. This one looked pretty cool, like Japanese kind of manga style, but nope, not really worth anything. Claire's found some ceramics. So that's not bad. We've got a blue Shurik cookie jar, not cookie jar, bread bin, that's full of like stagnant water, but well worth it. Um, I reckon probably at least 40 on that, maybe even 50. Uh, in fact, I've just recently listed one of, of this brand. And when I, I noticed when I put it on that there were very, very few listed for sale. So I actually put it up at about 70 quid and there's been quite a bit of interest in it. Um, so we might get closer to like 70, 80 for it actually. And it was four pounds. And we got this one as well. I don't think that's any brand. Is that got a brand on it? No. no. But it's still a nice, nice blue ceramic with wooden lid. Maybe 30, something like that. And this one, about 20 for the cookie jar. Okay, so we're just gonna go to two last ones and then that's gonna be it for today. Let's have a look in here. Right, so as soon as we walk through the door here, we see this it's a sony hi-fi 15 pounds and there's something about the design of this that i really like the look of in the bag there were an extra set of speaker covers and a remote as you can see here the prices on these were pretty good Let's see if there are actually any sold and there were quite a few. It did turn out later that unfortunately the tape deck was not working. I could have taken it back, but I decided not to. It's still a good hi-fi and everything else about it works brilliantly. Quick check of the ceramics, nothing today. I had a quick check in the charity shop across the road, but unfortunately there was nothing. So it's now the next day we're gonna have a quick look at the stuff we picked up yesterday so here's a quick look of what we picked up let's have a close look at everything now right so this is the first thing quick look at this I think this is really cool looking you got these speaker covers and you also get this other type like this it comes with its remote and 15 quid this was. Now these go for anything from kind of 50 to 120, depending on, I guess, the condition, whether you've got the remote or not, whether you've got the extra kind of covers. So I'll be aiming high on this. I can't imagine that many people out there having like both sets of covers. 
and then the remote and in such good condition obviously it all has to work it is pat tested but they you know they're unlikely to have tested it fully it's got the cd drive it's got the uh, tape deck i mean it looks clean you know everything looks really nice condition next is these two this is surveilling family's house no figures but there are a few bits of furniture in there at least three pounds fifty these don't go for like masses last time i had this particular house was it this particular one or was it a very similar one? I don't know. Um, there's a few different variations of this kind of size. But um, 15, something like that. Maybe 20. It says a few bits of furniture. So we'll see. We'll see how much we can get out of that one. Uh, this one's pretty good. This was a fiver. It was out, but there was no price on it. But they said they'd do a fiver. So I think that was kind of fair. Good price, I think now the condition is very rough it needs a really good clean up a lot of these marks i think will come off magic eraser will get rid of a lot of it a lot of it's just a bit just dirt as well uh, but i had one of these last year sold for decent money it did have a lot more with it though than this does um i can't get that out like a, there's like a desk just there there's none of the letters unfortunately none of the letters and numbers are supposed to be like magnetic ones so we do have some of the furniture at least. I've not even had a proper look in here. I don't know. I don't think that's from this set. Could be. There's a roundabout. A slide. Like a rocking horse thing. I'm not sure how much they go for, to be honest. I can't remember. But, I mean, I would, I would have bought it. It'll be at least 30. At least 30. It's still a nice thing. So this is the next lot, which is mostly ceramics, plus this. This is like a wooden like serving board or platter. Really not too sure about this. Anyone know what this is? I think it's something like South American, Colombian perhaps. I think one of them that I've had before says made in Colombia. Yeah, I've picked these up before from the same shop. Actually, like I think five of them I've had. I've sold one. Um, they've been three pounds each time. So, yeah, I don't know. I think they will they will sell. I'm probably missing the keywords because I don't really, still don't know what it is. I think I'm just kind of describing it as like a serving platter, South American, Colombian. Um, it's probably not finding the right people, but it's nice, nicely finished, nice kind of teak wood or at least teak colored wood. So this and this were from charity shops. That's a Laura Ashley jar, £2.50. That's a cupcake, like small cookie jar, £2. And, you know, these cupcake ones, as long as they're in good condition, they go okay, like maybe 12 to 15, maybe a little bit more than that. It's a little bit bigger than uh, the ones I've had recently. Uh, this is, you know, I don't really know. Laura Ashley, I've had a quick look, can't find that particular jar. Probably not worth a great deal, maybe 12 to 15 thereabouts. Uh, this I've had before, Mrs. Bridges. Not had one of these in ages, but the Mrs. Bridges stuff used to go really well. Not sure if it still does, but 20 quid at least, I reckon, on that. Can't remember how much I paid on that. Oh, two pounds on that. Uh, these two are the best things here, though. Uh, this one is unbranded, but it's just a, it's a nice, heavy like ceramic with wooden lid bread bin uh, but this one though is particularly good i've got very similar to this but in like a brown color rather than the blue and that's worth good money this is more unique probably worth even more i would say four pounds but it's this brand i keep finding and it's called shurik and it's 33732 but you probably won't find it if you were to search that on ebay because they are really rare uh, just now they're really rare like when this you know you might be watching this video in the future and they might not be um i think they they're rarer now than they have been for a long time it's just nice a nice west german good quality jar this was only four quid which is a really good price for this uh, it should go for 60 to 70 thereabouts plus postage so this is everything else we have some harry potter books three hardback one paperback pound each of them 50p for that 
These three are first editions and in great condition. Then we have this game. This was three pounds. Never heard of this before, but I looked it up and the prices are kind of all over the place. If you've got this new though, it can go for like 40, 50 quid. Pre-owned, more like 20, maybe a little bit more if you kind of hold out on it. But that's what it's called. Look out for it. And then we have these boxing gloves. These were only two pounds. These are like a just a display kind of thing, aren't they? I don't think anybody is expected to kind of use these. They're right. I'm pretty sure they're not actually old. They're just made to look old. And they're for displaying. Uh, two quid, thought I'd give them a go. And then we have a Railway Pal Thomas. These always do okay. Some are rarer than others. This is a standard kind of Thomas, so it's not gonna be worth a great deal. Some of them have like different designs on them. And then you've got the rarer characters as well. That was 50p. Uh, this I actually picked up on Wednesday or Thursday. This is from Plants vs Zombies. I have no idea if there's any money in it. I just really liked it. It was a pound. I bought it. Um, is it quite sad that I really want to keep this? That I might keep this. And this is Ubercorn from Gojetters. He I have a feeling talks. that we're almost at today's destination. It's a proper one. What is it? Fisher Price, is it? Yep, yeah, Fisher Price, 2016. Uh, never seen this before. Not sure if there's any money in it. £1.50. I'm pretty sure that will go okay. My favourite pickup has to be this. Check this out. Goosebumps the board game. Pretty cool. And it was, how much was it? Two pounds? Three pounds. I don't think this was priced either. I think they just gave me a price. I think it was two or, two or three pounds. Yeah, the, the prices are all over the place. If it's complete, well, I know I know that it's not complete, but the small piece that's missing, I've, I've ordered it on, on eBay. So uh, that'd be fine. But it's, um, yeah, maybe 25 maybe a little bit more going into like Halloween if you kind of you know keep it till a few weeks before Halloween list it then maybe get a little bit more for it uh, but it's really cool my kids like have seen it and they think it's really cool we actually had it all out and set up um, and when I list it I will probably do that again I'll probably put a bit of footage in here if I have done it yet and uh, just so you can have a little look at what it's like so that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're wondering where the car boot sales have gone, where the car boot sale videos have gone, there will be another one coming soon. I've not been to any in a few weeks. I was considering going last weekend, but they were all rained off. This weekend looks like it might be the same, but I've got a couple of other things planned for this weekend. So there will be another car boot sale video soon. And there's also going to be something else as well. Not charity shop related, not car boot sale related, something else. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It really does help out. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. So for now, cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.